and welcome back to another video. Today I'm so, so, so excited to be doing this video. I literally got this package in the mail. Well, actually, Ali and I ordered it together. I actually just finished my makeup and I was like, nope, I'm wiping it all off. And I'm re I'm doing this first impression because I'm so excited to try this. So this is the foundation. It is the cutest packaging ever. Where's my shape tape? It's the cutest packaging ever. It's called the Double Duty Beauty Foundation. The shape tape hydrating foundation. They have a matte and a hydrating foundation. This comes up to $55 Canadian, I believe. $39 USD. I will leave ever all the information down below. It is available on the Tarte website. It's also available on Ulta. I think those are the only two places you can buy it, but it looks exactly like this. I actually picked up another one of my Tarte Shape Tapes in medium. This is my go-to favorite color. I also have light medium honey, but not my absolute favorite. I find the colors a little bit off. So you get one fluid ounce in this foundation, which is standard. Like any other foundation, the new NARS foundation has one fluid ounce. It's a little bit less expensive than the NARS one. When I heard Tarte was coming out with a Shape Tape foundation, I could, was probably like the happiest person in the world. You already know Shape Tape is the best concealer on the market. No matter what, I always come back to this and I'm always like, ooh, I love you. I love you so much like it's so good so when I heard Tarte was coming out with a foundation like being someone who wants to try every foundation possible being someone who has literally tried probably every foundation possible I'm not gonna lie I was so so excited I was so happy and then it, you know I saw the shade I did not look into the foundation before really going to order it myself but when I went to the Tarte website I was kind of taken back I know when they first launched the shape tape, they didn't have all the colors that they have now, they introduced more colors after. I know that they did that, so I'm hoping that they're doing that with the foundation. But there's there's no foundations for darker skin tones, and that's like, a that's awful. Like, it's 2018. You would think that with like Fenty Beauty and even like Kylie concealers, it's not right. It's not right at all. Still wanted to try it for you guys and do a first impression. You guys know I love my foundation, so that's what I'm doing. So if you want to see my thoughts on this foundation, then just keep watching. I know I look a little bit crazy having no makeup on, eyes, a little leftover lip gloss, but I literally took all my makeup off that I just spent like an hour putting on because I really want to try this. So like I said, I have the shade Medium Neutral and the packaging of this is really cute. It looks like, obviously that's the point, it looks like the shape tape. It just has a little blue stripe because it's the hydrating foundation. So on this half of my face, I'm going to go in with a brush. On this half, I'm going to go in with a beauty blender. Normally, I use a brush and then go in with a beauty blender, but we're just going to see the difference in the application. All I have on my face right now is this Ombre Elise Lay Cream. Ah! It's on the floor. So we're gonna go in. I don't know how much I have to use. It actually looks like it matches like my actual skin tone, which you know is a good thing. This is like one dip in. There's not like that much on the applicator. Like honestly, I think it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna take my flat top kabuki brush and just Blend it. Huh. The color matches my actual skin tone. Uh, we all know that I like going about 100 shades darker, but we can bronze that up. But that blended out really nicely. Okay, so the coverage I would say is medium. It's not like the highest coverage. Like I can still see some of my imperfections coming out here. So I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more in the middle of my face, especially. But it's blending really nicely. Okay, so on this half of my face, we're going to go in with a beauty blender. I have like a lot of imperfections on this side of my face. So let's see what goes on with this. I'm like, I want to see if this beats out my NARS foundation because I've been really loving that recently. I don't love this application like thing. So now I'm going in with my beauty sponge and I got it in my hair. Okay, so the finish is nice. It definitely looks hydrating. I have to say it is nice, but I, I, it's not like 
wowing me. I think I need like a little bit more. I love a good full coverage foundation. Yeah, I think I prefer applying it with my brush. It gave it a more flawless effect. One thing I noticed right away was that this does oxidize. I went and just added a little bit more up here and it was like a different color. It's hard to tell when I don't have concealer or anything on, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and we'll see how it goes. Allie, come see. What do you think? come from the, the good light. You know like how when you put on shape tape, you're, you're like, wow, it makes such a difference. Like your skin looks good, but it's not like the best it's ever been. What do you think that is not off? Maybe it's the light. Can I turn this off for a sec? I find it looks good. It looks way better without this light in real life. Oh yeah? I guess like I just had very high hopes for it because it was the shape tape foundation. I, ex I think I expected more coverage like i think that it looks natural i think that like it looks when you look at my skin it looks more natural than the foundation i was wearing to begin with I was wearing the um the nars mixed with a little bit of the studio skin because i was filming so i wanted a little bit of a heavier foundation but i feel like i feel like it looks natural but, like looking in the mirror i would wear it again like i honestly think that it looks really good but i also know that shape tape is a lifesaver like yeah before i put shape the shape tape on i wasn't like Oh my god. But when you try it, it feels like I have nothing on my skin. A hypoallergenic luminous finish gel foundation featuring the same iconic buildable full coverage as Shape Tape Concealer with an added boost of skin smoothing oil free hydration. For everyday wear, I honestly think that it looks nice. It looks very natural. And the thing that I like most about this is that it feels feels very weightless like I do not feel it on my face compared to the new NARS foundation I feel like this has more of a uh, a lot more coverage I feel like it's a lot more like you put it on and it's kind of like a mask like you literally have like you just look flawless whereas this one is kind of more medium to buildable it still has a lot of coverage I'm not saying it doesn't have a lot I'm just saying that this one looks more like Flawless. At the same time, the Shape Tape foundation I find feels lighter than this foundation. Now, just going on my first impression, I'd probably stick with the Tarte Shape Tape for the Shape Tape foundation for every day, and then this for special occasions, but I don't know. No, I really love this one. I feel like the shade ended up working out really well for me. It oxidized the tiniest bit of, like the tiniest amount, so you have to do, you do have to take that into consideration. So I have really high standards for foundations, and this one I do think looks really good. Um, when I looked up close, my pores were kind of minimized so there's nothing I don't like about this foundation I can already tell I'm probably going to have to powder throughout the day which is normal in my t-zone on combination to dry more on the dry side but sometimes with certain foundations I do get oily I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it up close but yeah overall I think that I do I do like it all right so I'm doing a little bit of an update it's been around three hours that I have the foundation on and honestly it still feels very lightweight I don't feel greasy I did get a little bit greasy on my nose. I'm not gonna lie, just a little bit. But, but other than that, I feel like the foundation still looks really good. It hasn't moved, but then again, I'm just at home working, so it's not like I'm doing anything crazy. But overall, I still think that it looks really good. I'm not getting too greasy in my T-zone. I still feel really lightweight and put together. It's holding up really well. So this is the only check-in I'm gonna do because I do wanna get this video up. Make sure you watch my vlog though because I am going to be updating you about my feelings about this foundation in there. So definitely check those out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.